Medellin, Colombia's second city, is known for the enigmatic, overweight statues of its most famous son, sculptor Fernando Botero. But from now on, it will also be remembered as the city that tipped the balance against the peace deal in Sunday's referendum. If the FARC really wants peace, why don't they concede more? That's what we need. Then we'll vote yes. I don't believe them. I don't believe they'll disarm. They'll give up a third of their weapons at max. While in most of the country the no won by a razor-thin margin, here in Medellin, in the state of Antioquia, it won with a comfortable 63 percent. And nowhere more than here is the widespread feeling that this peace deal is fatally flawed. I voted no, and our neighbors voted no. We don't want Santos to sell our country out to the guerrilla. They are criminals. They need to pay. I'm with Uribe. Former President Alvar Uribe, the most powerful political figure in Antioquia, is the man who convinced a majority of Colombians that a win for their side would be a mandate to negotiate a better deal. I can't accept the fact they will not spend a day in jail for all the crimes they've committed. I think they've inflicted too much damage to the country. They can't expect to sign an agreement and go on with their life. The majority here in Antioquia is with Uribe. Whatever he says, we listen to. There's no way to underestimate the role that former president Uribe played in this uh, election. But experts say there's also something else here at play, a deep-seated distrust of the FARC and the government's true intentions. It's quite evident that here in Antioquia we lack a real political culture. The voter choices often have to do more with feeling than reason. Emotions play a major role in overcome reasoning about what's more convenient and rational. Unfortunately, the lack of an established political culture here means people go to the polls and vote following their heart more than their mind. A decision made with a heart by people willing to risk uncertainty and a return to war to achieve a more satisfying way to end it, in spite of not knowing exactly how. Alessandro Ampietti, Al Jazeera, Medellin.